As we looked around the web this morning, we found a few reasons to make a long story short. Check out the Duchess of Cambridge on HelloMagazine.com. The former Kate Middleton caused quite a frenzy in the UK when she stepped out with Prince William wearing a floor length gown with a very long split. I don't think the split's all that long. Watch out, Angelina, they're saying. I wonder if her leg will get its own Twitter feed like Angelina's did. I didn't think the split was that long. She looked lovely. She always looks good. She the Huffington good. Post looks at an effort in Congress to limit how much the government pays for former president's expenses. Taxpayer-funded perks for the four ex-presidents added up to nearly $4 million last year. Within that $4 million, $15,000 for Jimmy Carter's postage, $80,000 to pay George W. Bush's phone bill, $579,000 for the rent on Bill Clinton's office. Oh, wow. That's a lot of cash. A lot of cash. Our Baton Rouge station, that would be WAFB. Hello to you guys. Has a current must-have toy, the Tanorexic doll. She's based on New Jersey mom Patricia Krinsel, who's accused of bringing her daughter to the tanning booth. The doll makers call it a perfect gift for your tan BFFs. On a side note, Krinsel's lawyer says her client is a victim of tanism. He compares it to racism. To quote the producer Rachel here, stop the crazy. That was a good racial impersonation. <laughs> I guess you have to know Rachel to appreciate it, but she does kind of sound like that. And she does say stop the crazy stop a lot. The crazy. So we'll stop that crazy, Rachel, and move on to this one. Okay. The home of the happiest place on earth is also the porn capital of America, says the New York Post. They're talking about Men's Health Magazine's list of uh, hardcore DVD purchases, adult entertainment stores, and porn searches on Google. When you add all those things together, turns out Orlando ranked number one mm -hmm. for that grouping, followed by Las Vegas. Maybe not that shocking for Vegas. And then... Wilmington, Delaware. <laughs> That's a surprise. And the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reports a Wisconsin woman was fired from her bank job after five years. Why? Because she shoplifted 40 years ago when she was 18. That's Wells Fargo let her go last week after a background check because no one can work at a bank with a criminal record. I'm just thinking no fair, no fair. That was 40 years ago. That's long story short.